Hello, hello, and welcome to beautiful and sunny Adelaide today. So as you join me, I am just walking to the entrance at Adelaide Airport after parking at the long-term parking bay, which is about a 10 minute walk, so in relatively close proximity. And today I'm going to be flying to Melbourne on Qantas flight 686 and taking a look at their domestic business class. So after passing through priority screening, I headed straight for the Qantas Club Lounge as entry comes complimentary with today's flight. So here is one of the shower rooms located here within the lounge, hello. I would say it is a somewhat simplistic design, however they are very spacious and very clean obviously as the shower is quite large. There's also some loud music which I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, so if you have some form of bathroom anxiety, I'm sure you'll love it. Here is the aircraft I'll be flying on today, VHVXG, a 17 year old aircraft that rolled off the Boeing production line on March the 7th, 2002. Today I am seated in 3A. The seats are quite spacious at 22 inches wide and the leg room is certainly ample. There are controls to adjust the seat, including recline, back comfort control, leg rest and extension and foot rest.
Roughly 10 minutes after takeoff, we were climbing through 22,000 feet and passing over the River Murray. The tray tables fold out from the armrests, and just on a side note, they are quite tricky to fold out while filming. They're definitely much larger than the domestic tray tables, and they certainly feel as though they could support a much bigger weight. So although a very short flight, just under one hour, cabin crew came around with a lunchtime meal service. The only negative I found was that as soon as you start the meal, the plane has already began to descend, so you feel slightly rushed to finish it. However, on the plus side, I'm not lying when I say this is one of the best meals I've had on an airline. For someone with celiacs, like myself, it's great to see the improvement in gluten-free meals. Unfortunately on this flight though, there was no menu, nor could I really see what the other passengers had. However, I do usually try and include what other passengers' options are for meals. Today's flight was short but sweet, cabin crew were very friendly, and the weather made it such a beautiful day for flying. Now for your information, I paid $40 and used 16,000 Qantas frequent flyer points for this flight. The usual price for business on this route is around the $650 mark and economy averages around $150. Overall, I would rate this service a 7 out of 10 today. The cabin crew were very friendly and their meal was fantastic. I feel the 737 business class seats could use an upgrade or some kind of redesign. There was also no in-flight entertainment on my flight today unless I used my own device and connected to the Qantas Free Wi-Fi and entertainment app. However, I am aware, though on some of the newer 737s, they have in-flight entertainment on the seatbacks. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. I have a few interesting ones coming up, checking out Virgin's Economy X, and also Jetstar's Dreamliner on flight JQ1 Melbourne to Honolulu. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.